To create a roundabout in Civil 3D, you will need to have two or more design alignments and profiles. The alignments do not need to intersect or touch, but the roundabout island will need to be centered on one of the alignments. The respective design profiles will be required to set the approach lane grades at the blend point. Start by configuring the roundabout tools in your current Civil 3D drawing. In the ribbon, under the intersection tool, select configure roundabout tools. In the settings dialog, under style, select the out of the box style that you want to use for the roundabout. The style controls which features are variable along with the CAD settings that are used for each component. This can be changed at any time when you are working in your drawing. Under surfaces, select the existing surface from your drawing. This is used as a target surface for the corridor model and can also be used to set other grades on the roundabout. The final surface will be created automatically if turned on in the corridor model. In the corridor settings, you can toggle which geometry features that you want to create. These can be left on or you might find it helpful to turn this off initially until you complete your roundabout design. This will reduce clutter and help with the system performance. Set the road markings if necessary, then use the default directions as they are configured on your system. In the auto load settings, toggle on which design standards you want available for your local system. You can load all libraries, otherwise pick only the libraries you intend to use for your project. Click OK to save the settings. In the ribbon, under the intersection tools, select Create Roundabout. In the New Roundabout Details dialog, enter a description for the roundabout. Toggle on Calculate Elevation, then click the ellipsis button to select the design standard for your roundabout. The default standard will be highlighted and will be copied from the library into your local project pool. Select the standard you want, then click Close. The default values will be populated in the general details. The minimum and max column reflect the limit for each design parameter. Use the default value or enter a new design value that's within the range specified. Using a value outside of the range will trigger an error message. Click OK to create the roundabout. Following the cursor prompts, pick a location on the alignment where you want the center island to be placed. When proper to select the line for the approach route, pick one of the converging alignment arms. In the new arm dialog, select the profile that you want to use to get the blend point grade. Specify the approach and departure lane width for that region. Use the default values or specify a new value within the mix max range. Click OK. The approach details will be added into the drawing file along with the heads-up display. Repeat the same setup for the remaining roundabout arms. Each arm will have a unique name that is assigned to it. Make sure for each arm that you select the curve profile in the take elevation from. After adding the last approach region, press enter or escape to exit. Make sure to save your drawing file.